Now I suppose I hope that you have already understood the previous question. Now in the previous question, when you were solving the question, you have to calculate the interest where your principal rate and time is already given. Now there are different type of questions that come in the case of banking. As you have already seen the previous question in which you need to find out the interest. There might be questions where you need to find out the principal, there might be questions where you need to find out the rate of interest and there might be questions where you need to find out the time. So basically we can get four different type of questions. First to calculate the interest or to calculate the amount. Second to calculate the principal, third to calculate the rate of interest and fourth to calculate the time. Now in the previous question we have already calculated the interest. Let us see that this question is of which type? To calculate what? To calculate the interest, to calculate the principal, to calculate the rate or to calculate the time. This question came in 2008. Now let us read the question. David opened a recurring deposit account in a bank and deposited rupees 300 per month for 2 years. If he received rupees 7725 at the time of maturity, find the rate of interest. Now, with the last line you can easily figure out, find the rate of interest. So basically, you need to find out what? You need to find out the rate of interest that you don't know. What is the next thing that is given over here? The principal is given. You are depositing what? You are depositing rupees 300 per month. So your principal is given that is rupees 300. What is the next thing that is given? Your time is given. See, it is given for 2 years. So 2 years time. So n will be what? 2 years. But as I have already told you that you need to calculate this in a monthly basis not a yearly basis. So for that you need to convert your time into months. So in this case we need to convert this into months. So one year 12 months. So 2 into 12 months or we can say this as 24 months. Next thing is the total amount received. See it is written. If he received this much at the time of maturity. Now at the time of maturity the person is receiving only the amount. Don't get confused with this as interest. At the time of maturity the person gets the amount. The person doesn't get the interest over there. Yes, interest is calculated but the person is getting, getting what? Person is getting the amount. So, your amount is also given that is 7725. Now, as I have already told you, whenever you need to calculate the amount, you will write the total principal over there and you will multiply that principal with the number of months, that means 24 plus the interest. This was the basic formula. Now, you already know the amount and the amount is what? 7725. Let us calculate this value. 24 into 3 will give you 72. So this is coming to 7200 plus interest and this is 7725. So if we take this value on the other side, we can easily calculate interest as 7725 minus 7200 which will give you 525. Rupees. This is your interest. Now, after getting the interest, you can easily apply the formula that you have just understood. That is, interest is equal to principal into rate. That you don't know. Let that be R. Into N, N plus 1 divided by 100 into 12 into 2. Now, this zeros will be cancelled. Then 24 and 12 we can cancel. We will get 2. And this will cancel. We know the interest that is 525 that is equal to 3 into R 
because 3 is left over here, R is left over here, 24 plus 1 will give you 25. So from this, if you want to calculate the rate of interest, it will be what? 525 divided by 3 into 25. Now, this you can cancel. How many times? You can easily calculate also. This is 25. 2, 1. This is 21. And this is 7. So your rate of interest is 7%. This is your answer. I hope you understood this question. And I hope you understood what you need to find out. We have already discussed two different type of methods in first. We have already calculated interest. In the second method, we have calculated the rate of interest. Let us do two more questions where we can understand that how to calculate the principal and how to calculate the number of months.